Hello, Mark here, and welcome to the second part of the how to shave video. This is going to be the wet shave. Now, I've uh, earlier on I did the electric and got the beard really, uh, really short, where it normally would be. Now I'm going to use uh, the wet shave. It's a Gillette G uh, foam. Now, normally I'd use a gel, but either one's fine. It's just personal preference. And what we do, you put about, not a lot, but that much should be fine. Remember, you can always add more. All right, but you know, if you put too much in your hand, you can't take it away. And uh, if, you, if you do put too much on it, it'll just be, uh, it'll just be a waste. You know, so put less on your hand. You could just add more in a few moments. Now, what we're doing here is we're just applying the foam to the face in the area where the, the hair grows. Okay, under the, you don't, got to be careful under, under the nose. You don't want to get it up the nose. That'll be, uh, that won't be useful at all. Okay, so all over the face, in the areas that the hair is, you don't need to go, you don't need to go crazy. It's basically painting yourself a white beard, that's what you're doing here. Okay. Right. And then any excess, you can just keep on your hand in case you need to apply some more. Okay, wash that off. And, and then, it's time to, now, to look at the razor. Now, what I'm doing here is I've, I've bought these ones. These are actually lazy, they're supposed to be lady ones, but I mean, basically, they're all the same. And when I looked, you got 10 of these was 30p cheaper than five of the, the men's ones. But uh, the truth be known, it's just a marketing ploy, whereas, um, because I mean, these were the cheapest brand. I don't even know what brand these are. Um, but they got, as you can see, they've got two blades. And before I saw those, I was actually going to use this one because this one has got a single blade, which is, you know, I find perfectly fine. But uh, it's got two blades on it. That's all you need. Give that a wet under the hot tap. And what we're doing is we're going downwards. All, all the time going downwards, we're not like the electric one where we're going side, we may do a little bit of sideways, but not so much up. Okay, keep the tap running because uh, it's important that the blade does not get clogged up. Okay, so we just do a little bit like that, and then you can see the blade, the blade is all, uh, is, there's a lot of hair in there, there's a lot of foam. So just hold that under the hot tap, Move it around. Let it uh, let it clean out. You can see there's no hair and nothing in there. Hair is the worst. If you get hair blocked in the between the two blades, it will cause a surface that doesn't shave, and it is really it is it is the uh, the easiest way to cut yourself. Okay, I'm going to put put this again under the tap. And once you cut yourself, it's really bad. It's not the end of the world, but it's, it just hurts a little bit, you know. And then you gotta, then you gotta try and stop the bleeding. And it's quite easy, quite easy to avoid that. Just make sure your blade is sharp. That's why I use these disposable ones here because once the blade gets dull. You just throw it away. It's not like the because you get, you can buy really expensive ones, and uh, they they do the same job. I mean, when I was when I was starting to shave a lot of years ago, we had one blade, and then a few years later, I think, oh Jesus, we've got to start. We've got to sell a different product to the same people. You know, well, well like two blades, a eh? brilliant. Okay, and then. Two years later, it's like right. We sold it. We we we've come to a standstill in the in the blade making company. We've got to sell more stuff because we've we, we, the sales have leveled off. 
three blades. Oh, you know. And now we're coming to six blades. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, uh, but I've I've had the three blades with the lubra strip of soap across the the top, and we're up to six blades now. I think it is crazy madness. All you need is two blades. You don't even need two blades. You need one blade. That's all you need. Uh, before they involved, before they invented the disposable blade. I mean, I've even used them. You've had the barber shop um, one blade, the switch blade. That's what people used. They got away with one blade for so many years. The two blades, the three blades, the four blades, the five, six. It's all marketing just to get you to pay money for crap you don't need. But yeah. So if you notice, I'm doing a lot of talking now, but if you notice, all my shaving action has been downwards. I haven't, you, some people will go upwards and I mean, I figure how close do you need your face to be shaved? Because remember, that's what you're doing. You're taking a blade, you're scraping your face. It may all seem fun in games, but you're actually scraping it, which is why I never use aftershave. I've known people who have, I've actually done it and it's not good. Not unless you've got a really tough face. Uh, aftershave is out because you're, you're scraping the skin as well as the hair and the foam you're scraping the skin um, but I figure you don't need to so you just downwards that's why you don't need up you don't need to get that close um, so I'm just going to be doing uh, downward And it's, that's why it's important to, but normally I wouldn't be talking this much. Um, in fact, I would have finished by now, by a long shot, and I wouldn't be talking, and I wouldn't, my mind wouldn't be, my distraction wouldn't be on the camera, because it's important that you do not, you, you just go down, you don't go side to side, which is quite easy to do if you're not paying attention, if you're talking and shouting to somebody in the next room. Side to side is no good. You're going to cut yourself. Okay, so just make sure you just do down, and... You will be overlapping from the, the, the area that has got a bit of gel on it, or, or in this case foam. You will be overlapping, so you'll be shaving an area that you've just uh, shaved. There we go, under the, under the tap again, providing you do it often enough, the blade will stay clear. You will be, like I say, you will be overlapping areas that you've already shaved, but as long as you don't do a lot of it, you'll be fine, you shouldn't be, um, you won't make the thing sore. Ah, right, okay, and there you, you know, because if you, if you go over and over and over again, you will, you'll make it sore. Okay, I've just realized there's a patch here that I've missed. Okay, so what I do, I just take a little bit of the foam out of my hand, just apply it. Okay, and then, shave that off, and it's all good. Okay, check in the mirror. Yep, there's a little bit under my nose that I've missed, around there. You see, and that, that's why you have your little bit of uh, extra bit on your hand here. Just apply to the... I'm going to get some up my, up my nose. Apply some to the area, not all over the place. Just in the area uh, um, that you missed. And if you do, if you do, you know, what we can do with these awkward areas, it's difficult to see because I'm using a screen as a mirror here. Let's go sideways. Just in the corner. Like that. And, uh, yeah. That's about the one time you would go to, I mean, rather than, what I say, what I mean by sideways is not this way. That is a recipe to get yourself cut. But just turn the blade sideways. And then just in the corner, in the, in the corner of the nose, right there. Or uh, I'll say roughly in the corner of the, roughly in the corner of the mouth. I can see that, yeah. Because you will, there will be areas that you miss around the mouth. Yeah, and that seems fine. It doesn't involve any more than that. And then make sure you make sure your blade is clean. All, don't be having 
uh, bits of hair and gunge in between the two layers. And if you decide to use those ones with three, four, five, six blades, then there's even more area to clean. You'd, in my opinion, you don't, you don't need to get that close with a, with a shaver. Okay, so the last thing you do is, it's a bit of a drag having the two taps, one hot, one cold, but then all you need to do is take the water and get uh, wash your face again. There. See? And, yeah. And now, I mean, it's not, I mean, downwards, yes, it's nice and smooth. Very smooth and smooth. Uh, but growing upwards, it's slightly, I can feel it because I'm going against the grain going upwards, but remember I didn't scrape upwards. For me, that's just too close. We don't need any, I don't need that. Uh, downwards is fine. It looks very smooth and clean shaven. Although before, when I, when I used the electric razor, that seemed fine. Except it left, uh, it was very rough, but it was only, only a millimetre. Only a millimetre long, the, uh, the hairs. Now it's even shorter, and it looks very presentable, I think. Okay, there you go. That, that'll do me for another, uh, another few days. I really don't like the wet shave, which is, but I'm doing it now for you. Um, I just don't like the, the smooth feel, which is why I'm doing this, um, you know, so come work day, it'll, there'll be a bit more stubble on there. Uh, I just don't like the, the smooth feel. But yeah, if, um, but you know, I haven't made, see, I haven't been able to cut myself, although it's been a long time since I've done this uh, with a wet shave. As long as you're careful and you don't go, you know, um, what's that thing? As long as you don't go crazy and start going in all different directions, especially this that way, you don't want that. But just to go down, sideways in the corners of your nose and around the mouth, make sure you've got foam on your mouth. Try not to shave areas that don't have um, the foam or gel. Gel, I prefer the gel. It's like you put it on your hand, it's green or so, you've got colored gel, and it turns into foam. I prefer that better than what I've got here, but that's all I had. And um, yeah, I'm just waffling on. So I'll leave that with you. I hope that was helpful. If, if somebody out there found that useful, leave a, leave a like, leave a comment. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.